Hello, I hope you're all doing really well. I'm back to do another haul. This time it's got a little Christmas theme because it's nearly that time of the year. Um, it's actually less than a month away, so we better get our Christmas shop on, right? Um, but yeah, the last time I was doing a haul was for little puppy Luna, doing a dog haul, and we've now got her. We've had her for nearly two weeks, and I don't know where the time's gone, and she's currently upstairs fast asleep after being a little rascal for the day. Um, so I'm sure you'll get to meet her. I'll bring her down to say hello. Um, but yeah, she's been a little dream. But now we're on to Christmas. Um, this year, okay, so I've done a tiny bit of shopping, but not a lot, because I'm really impulsive with Christmas shopping, and I often go shopping, and I end up like the meme that's out there at the moment I end up just buying things for myself does anyone else do that I feel really bad but I'll be like you know I'll have that oh, oh that looks nice it's just it's just like a dream in the shops because there's so much good stuff out that you just want it all so this year I've decided to do things a bit differently and what I'm gonna do is actually do like a methodical list put it all on a list be like this person wants this and tick it off like that instead of just buying willy-nilly you know um that's the plan anyway but i've got a few things that i thought i'd run through um that i think are like really cute little christmas presents i'll keep it short and sweet so i'm not banging on for ages but um this is the first which i absolutely love um i got this from my local garden center so i can't really tell you where it's from but as in like where to buy it unless you go to where I live um, but it's the sweetest little bauble if you can even call it a bauble because it's a giraffe hanging from a string but I think it's just glitzy and wonderful and it's a bit of me for sure um, I really really like animal decorations but like with kind of like a glamorous glitzy twi twitch twist um, so I would kind of frame my entire treat just around this and kind of go with that colour theme but it's turned out a bit more silvery green um, I don't know where I was going with it, but it works, it does the job. So yeah, that's the first little thing. And next, we're gonna go with dogs first, we'll go down the dog route first. So, a few little things that I think are really cute. Um, Luna's already become the most spoiled dog on earth, also a bit of a dog fluencer or a pug fluencer or whatever you call it. And um, she's been sent actually some really sweet little gifts, which if you follow her on Instagram, dogs have Instagram nowadays, um, you will see that I've posted a little bit about um, some of the things that she's been sent but one particular company called Yappy just amazing because what they do is they personalize things for pooches which I absolutely love um, you can see here this is a cup that I'm drinking out of which says happiness is watching Christmas movies with Luna and it is having said that we just tried to watch the holiday which is my ultimate christmas movie and i sat on the sofa thinking this will be so wholesome you know luna will sit next to me i'll eat some snacks she'll eat a treat we'll sit and we'll watch the holiday together oh no oh no it was biting my socks it was biting the sofa it was running and doing laps of the room it was there's this wicker basket that we've got in our in our lounge actually and she dogs fixate on things right and she's fixated on this wicker basket and there's one spot on the wicker basket she will not stop eating so every time i'm like oh where's luna there she is pick her up bring her back um so yeah watching the holiday didn't really become as wholesome as i expected i just ended up watching it myself um whilst she kind of run right around me which was lovely um, <laughs> But I guess that's how it goes. So, happiness definitely is watching Christmas movies with Luna with a side of mental dog. But um, I absolutely love this cup from Yappy, which again is one of the things that they've personalized, which I think is really cute. Um, but another thing, if you're a Where's Wally fan, you'll love this. So where's Luna? But obviously you'll get your dog's breed there and you'd get your dog's name there, which I think is such a good little idea for a dog. Instead of getting, you know, maybe a treat or a toy, just something that you can sit down, have a cup of tea and have a little browse of this book. It's really entertaining. And yeah, if you're a Where's Wally fan, as you can see, there's so many different scenes. It's just a little Christmas dream. Um, so there's that and moving on from the yappy no actually staying with the yappy theme this is a bandana by yappy also personalized which says luna which is perfect for christmas it's a little bit big for her so she's not actually worn it just yet but i think as soon as she's of age i think maybe next christmas she is going to be repping the luna bandana i think it's really really cute so if you want anything personalized for your dog that's who to go with right 
a bit of organization. <laughs> I've just like, you don't want to look down here. I've just thrown everything that I want to show you just here on the floor. Um, okay, next. Moving on to Kath Kidston, which is my absolute favorite store in the world, like without a doubt, and I'm not just saying that, like I love Kath Kidston so much. It's kind of nostalgic for me. It reminds me of my childhood. Um, my first bed was from Kath Kidston. I used to go in there on the weekends when I wasn't at school and I'd have like my pocket money and I'd go and get something from Kath Kidston. And I built up a massive collection actually of Kath Kidston bits and bobs, including teapots, which is something bizarrely that I used to collect and, and kind of still do because I've never used them, they just sit on a shelf upstairs. Kath Gidston is um, just one of my favourite stores. Every time I walk past I have to go in, it's just, I absolutely love it and I think it's really homely and snug and cosy and really good vibes and they sent me this incredible diffuser which I just think is so beautiful. Do you know if I'm doing this properly? No? Oh yay, now you can see it. How sweet is that? And it's a little festive themed one and I can absolutely promise you it smells amazing. Like it just creates the nicest atmosphere. So there's that, a little festive diffuser um, and also these little festive plates which I got from Kepkis too as well which are perfect for kind of like setting the table, popping in, you know, in the middle for snacks when it comes to movie time. Um, so yeah, I think that'll be really cute as well. I just things like this I love them I love them I'm so basic I love them <laughs> um, yeah um, moving on advent calendar wise I don't know what kind of your go-to advent calendar is some people might like tradition and chocolate we tried a popcorn one the other day we also tried a gin one which is absolutely amazing with the gin one you get obviously a tiny little thing of gin every morning and me being the mad hatter that I am, I thought you had to shot it every morning, but <laughs> it's just not the case. You just get a little one and then you can obviously create some really nice festive themed gins with it. I mean, we had kind of like gingerbread and you have um, orange peel, just like the nicest little flavors. But another advent calendar, which I really like the idea of, which we've got is this amazing tea shop advent calendar, which I just think is great because under each door every day you get new tea. And so it kind of uh, is an eclectic mix which helps you widen your tea horizons, I guess. And if you're a tea drinker, this is this is the one. And you've got gingerbread tea, superstar anise, chai, ghostly green, tropical lemongrass, peachy keen white wonderland. So I think um, we tried the gingerbread tree the other day, which sounded absolutely amazing. Um, a must try. Also, it's not even the 1st of December, so please excuse us for already opening up for <laughs> We're doing a bit of a thing this year though where we're kind of like trying lots of different advent calendars which has been so much fun and really that would have been a great idea for a haul wouldn't it but <laughs> maybe next year um next okay so elf on the shelf is obviously a huge tradition um for little ones at the moment and i didn't really know much about it i think it's kind of come along after i've been young so uh, i am still young i hope but as in i'm not a kid anymore and i think it's just been one of those more recent traditions that's come about never tried it but they have an amazing selection which i didn't realize they have an incredible selection online do elf on the shelf like they're not just selling the elf on the shelf they also sell like kind of games books you name it i'm sorry if i'm late to the party and other people knew this by the way but I mean, just had to get one. Just had to see what all the hype was about. So this is the elf on the shelf. Um, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm just so excited. Look, I can kind of see what all the fuss is about because it's just so oh festive just looking at that. So yeah, there's the elf on the shelf, which I think is a great present. Even if you don't give it for Christmas, it's a great present for around Christmas time. And another thing that they've produced this year, they've got kind of their new merchandise out at the moment, um, which includes the Elf on the Shelf Night Before Christmas book, which is another awesome little buy. And it's a really good read, which I can imagine as a child, you know, when you're waiting for Santa to come on Christmas Eve, if you were reading that to your kid, how cozy and uh, short but sweet. So you can still sneak downstairs, get the carrots and the mince pies ready for when Santa comes and have a little Christmas tipple before the big day. So there are another two things that I'm absolutely loving, which I think are really good gifts for um, a little one. Um, next, what have we got next? Okay, so obviously 
Fordham and Mason just screams Christmas, right? It is just the most Christmassy shop. Fordham and Mason, absolutely incredible. Just those kind of uh, you know window shop displays that you walk past, so you just feel all warm and fuzzy inside. You know when you're walking down London, London streets, and you just see that it's just like magical, so spellbinding. Um, and I think it's just. Fortnum and Mason is kind of part of Christmas, isn't it? And their hampers, obviously, if you've ever tried one of their hampers, they've got tea galore, which is what I want to talk to you about. Okay, I'm having to remember where I was because we just had to stop because my camera decided that it was too hot. <laughs> is that a thing? I mean, it's winter, right? Calm down, camera. Modest too, hey? <laughs> um, so where were we? We were talking about Fortnum and Masons, the wonderful Fortnum and Masons and how good their tea is. Um, and I was banging on about this Christmas spice black tea. Now, as much as I love the tea, I also think it's the packaging. Like, what a perfect present based purely on the fact that it looks gorgeous. So, <laughs> absolutely adore that. And also we've got the coffee, which has kind of already been used. So I wouldn't give that as a present. That would be very strange if I did that. Um, but. Yeah, just wanted to show you again, this is another really cute little gift, which is, um, again, amazingly packaged. And finally, Fortnum & Mason haul-wise, we've got some orange tea, oh my gosh. And it's in this adorable little holder. Holder? Um, oh my God, my brain, what would you call it? <laughs> container? Yes, container, we got there in the end. Moving on, okay, so. Um, this is, I tell you, this is a very strange haul. Like, there's a lot going on and lots of little random things. But pret a -Manger, which I would go as far as saying is my favorite kind of little coffee shop to pop into. I can't believe I just called them little. They're definitely not a little chain. They're a huge chain. <laughs> Sorry, Pret. <laughs> but they just um, introduced their Christmas menu. And I tried it today. I tried the nut roast sandwich and also their turkey sandwich as well. And let me tell you, festive delights like they really do taste good and they've got so much on their menu so totally worth trying actually got a prep christmas cracker here which when you pull it has like a little discount in which is so cute um so yeah it's kind of prep central here at the moment but in my delivery earlier i got sent melvin who is a little ginger man peng penguin ginger man snowman and i love it underneath melvin it says he's melting can you see you can kind of see but anyway this is little melvin and he tastes so good like I got two and this one I'm just like ready to rip open because honestly really really yum um, so yeah if you go into prep pick up a little Melvin because he's melting so give him a home um, and buy him I guess yeah definitely try the prep Christmas menu um, oh and also they've got Christmas coffee which is amazing um, which they sent Ta -da! Actually, I don't know if it is Christmas coffee or whether they've just sent some coffee, but <laughs> there you go. There's some prep coffee for you. Woohoo! Fun haul. <laughs> but prep coffee is amazing, so it's worth showing off. Right. Not much left. If you're bored to tears, um, you've probably already stopped watching. But if not, if you're still here, then don't worry. We're nearly done. Um, so this on the dog front, I should have showed you this with the dog stuff, but. This is so cute. I think this is just a really good idea. My mum actually made this for little Luna. First of all, gingerbread. So um, very, very um, Christmas friendly. Love it. And also she just kind of knitted in Luna, which I think is just a really sweet touch. I think what I'm getting at is just anything personalized. This is such a really cute idea for your dog, for a friend, for a family member. Love that. Um, I'm all about personalization this year, actually. I don't know why, um, but I just bought my mum for her birthday a really sweet like um, photo album, and it just had like loads of different pictures in. You know, everyone does it, but it's it was kind of like the present that she liked the most. And you just think, oh my gosh, like you buy people like you know maybe an expensive gift or lots of little gifts, and often it's the one that's kind of got that personal touch that they really like the most. So. Yeah, I just think where you can do a bit of personalization this year. I feel like if personalization was like a company, I would be number one rep right now. <laughs> um, okay, next, I just, first of all, who doesn't love a bauble, but a bauble with something in it. Oh, the dream. So, from Apothecary, this calm bauble, it's not just a bauble, obviously. When you unscrew it, inside, you've got, some amazing hand cream and body wash. 
and obviously from a really 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 good brand so totally worth a purchase because it's just so cute like it's so so cute and you know you can hang it on the tree and be like go go over there and have a little look at your bauble I just think that's amazing so there's that that's another Christmas thing that I think you should buy and finally okay so I was banging on again about cactus from the other day because they first of all you can um, once you've used once you've bought the the goodies you can use the bag as wrapping paper and cactus and bags are gorgeous so that's amazing um, but also I'm just such a fan of kind of like these first of all <laughs> little sprouts little sprouts from cactus and hair how cute oh my gosh I really am not showing you that very well am I there you go oh one just dropped out better eat it um, and also this, which is just super, super, super adorable. So I think this is perfect for maybe like a little little baby, um, well not a baby, but like a toddler. <laughs> a baby. Give that a baby, they'll be like, what do I do with that? Um, it's a little bath time bag, but it's got everything in it. So first of all, just Kath Kidston at its best, just producing the most amazing design. But also um, in this bag, so you've got a little wooden toothbrush, eco-friendly toothbrush there. You've got some soap confetti. You've got the most adorable funnel bubble bath um, here, which obviously just comes in the cutest little container. I am just the worst at doing this, right? There you go. <laughs> we got there in the end. <laughs> and this flannel, which I personally would never use because I'm a sucker for, if something looks good, I just don't use it. I'm a hoarder, I'm an absolute hoarder. Um, and I just end up keeping, which is probably why I've got these things just like lying around to show you. It's because I just keep everything. Like some people hate that, you know, some people are very like clean and tidy. My brother for one is um, a minimalist. So he has barely anything in his flat. Whereas I'm the polar opposite and I am honestly just, everything like you know but it all it all has a place but um so as in i don't have things like all over the place lying around but i'll kind of like put things in boxes and just be like i'll use that one day or oh when i have children they've got like that to use they've got elf on the shell <laughs> so it's all got like it's a little place um which probably drives people wild but that's me and that's your lot so leaving little else to do but for me to show you Luna because I haven't actually um actually no I have I did a bring me bringing my dog home video but um I'll show you her anyway because it's actually fascinating how fast dogs grow like she's already grown quite a lot which is crazy um so yeah soon she won't fit in the flat we're just gonna have to buy a new house for Luna <laughs> okay she's ready Here's little Looney Tune. Hey! Oh, as you can see, she's just kind of. Yep. <laughs> I absolutely love it when she yawns because she's the cutest little thing. Um, she's just woken up, so she's kind of in that more kind of chill mood. Finally! It's only taken all day. Hey! I won't let her near the Christmas tree because I get scared that it's going to go in her eyes because pugs have got such big eyes that you have to be really, really, really careful with them. Um, so yeah, so this is Luna and this is the end of the Christmas haul but thank you all so much for watching. I will leave you all, hope you're all really, really well and uh, yes, yeah, stay safe of course.